You know, while NVIDIA has been grabbing all the AI headlines, there's been a secret weapon from Google that's been quietly changing the entire game. So today, we're going to dive into that silent revolution and what it really means for the future of AI. This quote just nails it, doesn't it? It perfectly captures the story of Google's TPU, a chip that, let's be honest, everyone forgot about, is suddenly making this massive comeback. So how on earth did this happen? Well, first, we need to understand the champion it's challenging. Right, so to understand the challenger, you have to understand the king. And for years, the AI landscape has been ruled by one name and one name only, NVIDIA. And the reason is pretty simple, really. NVIDIA's graphics processing units, or GPUs, they basically became the rocket fuel for the entire AI boom. If you were building anything in AI, you were almost certainly using their hardware. They were, and in many ways still are, the industry's default setting. But here's the thing. While NVIDIA was dominating the headlines, soaking up the spotlight, Google was playing the long game with a project that almost everyone else had completely written off. And we're talking a decade-long journey here. When Google's tensor processing unit, the TPU, first launched, the industry basically just dismissed it. They called it cute, you know, but irrelevant. Fast forward to today, and some of the biggest AI leaders out there think Midjourney, think Salesforce, they're running on Google's hardware. What a turnaround. So what changed? Why is the TPU suddenly a real contender? Well, its comeback really boils down to three key advantages that Google has been perfecting for a decade. Speed, scale, and savings. First up, raw speed. For the kinds of massive, repetitive calculations that you need to train and run these huge AI models, Google's latest TPUs are just absolute monsters. They are purpose-built for pure performance. Second, scale. And we're not just talking a few more chips here. We're talking about connecting thousands of these things into what are basically AI supercomputers, these things called super pods. This lets companies train and run models at a size that was, frankly, unimaginable before without just getting completely buried in complexity. And finally, maybe the most important S of all, savings, the money part. By optimizing their hardware and software to work together perfectly, Google managed to dramatically cut runtime costs, which is the single biggest headache for every single AI company right now, period. Okay, so here's how it all comes together. We're now on the seventh generation of TPU hardware, but it's not just the hardware. Google has also optimized the software, the compilers that translate code into machine instructions to squeeze out every last drop of performance. This combination has cut runtime costs so drastically that it's attracting huge clients like Salesforce and Midjourney, which proves the whole system works in the real world. So this all leads to a big question, right? Does this just mean the TPU is better? Well, hold on. The reality is a lot more nuanced. It's less about one being better and way more about them being built for entirely different missions. This is the question everyone asks. But as we're about to see, it's actually the wrong question to be asking. And this analogy just brilliantly illustrates the difference. Think of the Google TPU as a high-speed bullet train. It is incredibly fast, super efficient for getting a ton of people between two points on a fixed track. NVIDIA's GPU, on the other hand, is like a motorcycle. It gives you the freedom to go anywhere, to explore all those winding back roads, and change your route whenever you want. And this table breaks it down even further. That Google TPU train is best for long hauls, you know, running massive, established AI models as efficiently as possible. That process is called inference. Its key strengths are efficiency and cost. But the NVIDIA motorcycle? That's your creative playground. It's perfect for experimentation and R&D where that unbeatable flexibility is absolutely crucial for creating new models from the ground up. But, and this is a huge but, even with all these advantages in speed and cost, Google is facing one enormous hurdle. And it's not about the hardware, it's about human behavior. This phrase says it all. For over a decade, an entire generation of AI developers has grown up using NVIDIA software. It's become second nature, like an automatic habit, it's just baked in. And this is the perfect comparison. Even if an Android phone has better specs or a lower price, trying to get someone to leave the familiar comfort of the iPhone ecosystem is incredibly difficult. Those habits are just too strong. That is exactly the challenge Google is up against. So this powerful habit, it's all built around something called CUDA. Now, CUDA is not just a piece of software. It's the whole shebang, the platform, the language, the community that NVIDIA has been building for years. 
This ecosystem is NVIDIA's real competitive advantage. It's a powerful moat around their castle that makes switching to a different platform a monumental task for developers. So you see, this isn't just about two companies selling chips. This is a battle for control over the entire next generation of AI infrastructure. It's a conflict where Google is betting on economics while NVIDIA is defending its throne with flexibility. And the entire battleground is defined by this one massive problem. Every single AI lab on the planet is fighting a war against the skyrocketing cost of computation. It is the single biggest barrier to progress right now. And that brings us to the grand prize. The company that solves this cost problem will effectively win the next decade of AI. They'll not only control the infrastructure, but they'll also define a future where AI is more sustainable and economically viable for all of us. And so we're left with this final critical question. As the economic pressures keep mounting, will the AI industry finally break its old habits for the promise of speed, scale, and savings? Or will the comfort of NVIDIA's ecosystem just be worth the price? The answer to that, well, it's going to shape the future of artificial intelligence as we know it.